My name's Lauren. I'm from the north of England. That's why I sound like this. I can only apologise. You'll get used to it. They'll subtitle it later. It'll be fine. I promise. But don't live in Newcastle anymore. I've moved to London, to the big city. I don't like living in such a big city, though, because I look like this. I look quite young and I feel like I get patronised a lot. I don't get treated like the adult that I am. I've noticed very different how I get described to my female friends when I'm on a night out or something. They'll be called, like, hot and sexy and stunning. And I get cute and sweet and adorable. And I hate it. And they said I've got the wrong attitude. They were like, they're not insults. I was like, well, I know they're not insults, but I don't want to be cute, sweet and adorable when I'm in my 20s. They went, yeah, but babies are cute. Puppies are sweet. Kittens are adorable. And you know what they've got in common, Lauren? Everyone loves them. I was like, yeah. You know what else they've got in common? Is no one wants to fuck any of them, do they? <laughs> no, and the kinds of people who do are not the kind of people I want to hang out with. <laughs> I'll dance on me own, I'll buy me own Jager bombs. It's fine, I don't mind. And I've been racking me brains thinking there must be a positive to looking young, because everyone will tell you the same thing when you've got a baby face, you'll enjoy it when you're older. I want to enjoy it right now. So I've been trying to think of a way I can just embrace looking young, and this is the tip that I want to share to you tonight. If you're like me and look a bit of a child, you can get away with so much trouble. You can get away with murder. At Christmas, I got really, really drunk, and I woke up the next day and I was like, right, hangover day. Everything is cancelled. Today is a hangover day. So I went to the shops to get some snacks, some supplies, stopped off at Starbucks, get myself a little coffee, sort myself out. Went into the shop, I'm filling my basket with crisps, sandwiches, biscuits. I was like, I am going to have the best hangover day. And my stomach started to rumble. I went, hey, Lauren, you having a hangover day? I was like, yeah, yeah, I am. It's going to be good. And my stomach went, well, before you do, just to let you know you're about to be sick. I was like, no, I'm not. I'm an adult. I'm not going to be sick in public. That's disgusting. That's deplorable. I was raised better than that. And my stomach went five, yeah. four, <laughs> three. And I started to panic. I was like, oh, my God, what do I do? What can I do? I need to leave here with dignity. I can't just be sick on myself. I thought, I'll find a toilet. I'll run to the toilets. There's no toilets in this shop. I was like, I only live over the road. Maybe I can just drop the basket, run home, be sick in my own house. But I was like, no, what if the movement jiggles the sick and then it comes out everywhere? Can't do that. I've got no options. Yes, I do. I hadn't thrown away my Starbucks cup. <laughs> Don't you judge me. What would you have done in my situation? <laughs> And I looked around and there's nobody else in the aisle. And I thought, it's very simple. All I've got to do is get the sick in the cup. <laughs> Put the lid back on, turn around, leave, bin it, burn me clothes, move house, reevaluate me life. That's all I've got to do. <laughs> very simple. Standard Tuesday, if anything. And I did it. I got all the sick into the cup. The only problem was it just kept coming. I don't know if you've ever been in a supermarket thrown up into an overflowing cup. It's not a high point. <laughs> I have never been so embarrassed, so disgusted. I started to cry and I heard footsteps. And I was like, oh my God, if someone sees this, it means it's happened. And I turned around and there's a shop assistant just staring and she went, what's happened here? <laughs> I like, I think it's fairly obvious what's happened, isn't it, Pamela? I've been sick on myself, and I thought, e God, she's going to think I'm disgusted. And I went, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I can only apologise. She went, I'm not angry. It's OK. This happens to the best of us. <laughs> Does it fuck? <laughs> Has Beyonce ever thrown up in a Starbucks cup in the middle of Walmart? Has she shite? This does not happen to the best of us. I am scum and I know it and I'm sobbing because the worst thing someone can do when you don't deserve kindness is to be kind to you. I have done a disgusting thing. She shouldn't be nice to me, so I'm really sobbing. And she went, I'm not angry. Can I get you a glass of water? Do you need a sit down? Do you need me to ring your mum or dad? <laughs> I think she thinks I'm a kid. She thinks I'm an actual child. That's why she's not angry. All I have to do is give her an excuse, leave, and I can leave with dignity. But I panicked because I've been brought up not to lie. So I just turned to her and I went, I'm so sorry. I'm pregnant. <laughs> I've got really bad morning sickness. And she just stared at me. And I thought, why did you lie, Lauren? Should have just owned up. And I turned to leave out of embarrassment and she grabbed us. I thought, oh God, what's going to happen? Am I going to have to clean it up? Am I in trouble? Am I going to get fined? But she took me to the back of the shop. She sat me in the staff room. And for 45 minutes, she waited on me hand and foot. 
She brought us sandwiches, crisps, cups of tea. I had me hangover day in the staff room. It was brilliant. <laughs> absolutely fanned us with a magazine at one point. I was like, this is amazing. I can't believe how kind that woman was when I didn't deserve it. I've done it five times since in different supermarkets. <laughs> Take what you can get. Life's expensive, they told me for this set. They were like, do something that shows you in your best light. And I was like, this story. <laughs> yeah, this is the one I want Canada to know me by. And you've been brilliant. Nice to meet you. I'm Lauren. See you later. <laughs>